On this Thursday morning, we're looking at some frosty temperatures here, even a temperature of 32 degrees in Jericho this morning. Cabot ports in with 30 degrees, and looks like uh, Newberry of uh, the V-Trans station uh, at 30 degrees. The coldest I've seen so far in Vermont, 28 degrees. This is at Mulhegan, and uh, there's other 28s, uh, for example, in parts of northern New Hampshire, just north of the White Mountains. This particular area is one of the colder spots. This is up in the Connecticut Lakes region, also very, very chilly. This morning, 32 degrees around Saranac Lake. Um, I would have expected a little bit colder than that. Mount Van Hovenberg, 29 degrees. So we also have uh, some patchy mid and high-level cloudiness, and it's even showing up on radar this morning. This is uh, not to be expected to reach the ground, but it's just thick enough to produce some uh, filaments of precipitation, some ice crystals aloft that are falling. And where it is reaching the ground is uh, parts of Pennsylvania and uh, the Middle Atlantic states are seeing uh, what's going to be a pretty ugly day for them as this uh, weather system kind of works across that particular part of the, uh, the country and exits out and actually it's going to produce a, an area of low pressure that will track out to sea, a little mini nor'easter, just a wet nor'easter, not affecting us, however. And what you're looking at here is a, a vertical temperature profile of the atmosphere. We call these soundings and it's a tool that we use uh, that... Uh, looks at the ambient air temperature, which is this red line, and the, the dew point temperature. And of course, wherever they get close, uh, we call this uh, the, basically the dew point depression. And the, the smaller the distance, the uh, higher the humidity. And so he, with 100% humidity, well, that's fog, that's cloud. And so clouds are basically, uh, this is a vertical temperature profile. So we have 10,000 feet, 15, 20, 25,000, and so forth. So we're looking at uh, clouds later on this afternoon, running about 10,000 feet, but mostly mid and high level clouds through the morning hours today, uh, according to the soundings. And uh, we're looking at, uh, you know, thin spots occasionally working on in. So uh, a little bit better conditions later on, I think, uh, during the afternoon as opposed to what we're seeing this morning, where some of the cloud cover is actually fairly thick. This suggests a fairly thin layer here. So I mentioned there will be a cold front that will be moving on through uh, during the afternoon hours on Friday. And you can see that colder air moving in. And this is uh, valid, uh, looks like 8 p.m. on uh, Friday evening. And you can see colder than normal temperatures here. We're running anywhere from around 10 to 15, 16 degrees below normal for this time of year. And a real cold morning, Friday, Friday night, Saturday morning. And then, and then, and then... We're starting to see a warm-up, and these are temperatures that go above normal, kind of a combination below normal right along across the uh, northern tier areas uh, during the afternoon hours on Sunday, but warmer than normal, and that's uh, going to be the overriding factor. Uh, check this out. These are the next uh, several days. We're getting to Monday and Tuesday above normal. The darker red suggest even warmer than normal temperatures. Look at that. We're looking at uh, temperatures 10 to 18 degrees above normal across Vermont by the time we get into Tuesday afternoon. And uh, it doesn't stop there. Uh, look at this. You can see warmer, warmer, warmer. We're talking about Thursday next week. Friday, Friday morning, Friday afternoon. Look at that. Friday afternoon, we're talking in the realm of uh, anywhere from around 15 to 20 degrees above normal. And uh, it's looking pretty good for much above normal temperatures here. And you're looking at temperatures here, anywhere from around uh, 18 to maybe uh, 23, 24 degrees above normal. So uh, hot fun of the summertime ahead, and this would be valid, well, the following weekend at around uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I wanted to go out a little bit longer range, and uh, you can see here this is uh, the 27th of May, uh, Wednesday of next week. And we're looking at above normal temperatures, above normal, above normal, and uh, this is a longer range look here from the European model. And uh, we continue to be above normal through the 8th of June. Looks like we start to get near normal by the time we get toward the 13th of June. A little bit of a cool down suggested for a small portion of uh, a few days anyway. And uh, then that looks like it starts to work on out and probably fills back in. So uh, summer is ahead. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.